Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and with True Rex Axis Deer being the next thing on the list for updates for Call of the Wild, I figured we would head over here to Parque Fernando in hopes of finding ourselves a big old diamond one. I don't really see anything too crazy right here. We do have a few threes, so we'll probably try to take down at least one of these guys. It is going to be kind of a long shot, but I think we can hit it. So let's just get lined up and see if we can get a good shot. All right, so this should be a makeable shot, provided we don't go too high. And wow, I'm pretty sure we hard shot that one. Nice, we got at least one of them down and possibly two, so I'll take that. All right, so we got an axis deer over on this side of the lake too, and I see a couple more up there behind that red deer, but this one's in a good spot for us, so we'll try to take it out. First shot was rough, but the second one did get it, so we should be okay, and there's a level seven red deer. Uh, we might have to take that out too if we can get close enough to get a good angle. All right, so we actually have some more axis deer over here, so I think instead of taking that red deer, we will take this little axis deer right here because that's gonna be more beneficial to us since we're trying to get a diamond one. And that is a good shot on that one. So, first shot that we had was a drop shot. These other two have been lung shots. Surprised we haven't messed up one of these long-range shots yet because this is like 300 plus meters and axis here are pretty small, so definitely happy with the shots so far. All right, so now we're finally over here and indeed this is a vital organ hit. I believe this was the first one we shot. Yeah, that was a little bit high, but still managed to nail the lung. So I'll take that. Let's go find the other one. I'm actually not sure where it ran off to, but it looks like it's actually right here, so that's perfect. But something that I wanted to mention, when they do these access true wrecks, I really hope they go back and kind of resize the bodies of these guys because currently the axis deer are way too small. If you guys have seen any pictures of real axis deer, they're quite a bit bigger than the ones that are in game. So I'm really hoping that they'll take a look at the body size and do something about that because right now they're just not accurate, not realistic at all. That could have been bad. I pulled out the 470. That poor axis deer would have been no more. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I really hope they change the body size of these guys. I think the actual models aren't too bad. They look decent, but they just need to be bigger. And I hope with the true racks, they make the antlers bigger too, because the current ones are, once again, a bit small. All right, so here's that other axis deer. This is the one that we dropped. So he didn't go anywhere, and yeah, it was a hard shot. I kind of figured it was, but you never know. Sometimes the long shots can do the same, but nice. I'll take that. 318 meters, actually. That's a pretty long shot. Not too bad. 318 meter hard shot. I'll take that any day. Look at what we have here. We've got a level 3 cinnamon teal. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. I think it's easily been a month since our last teal which is kind of crazy because they used to be one of the most common things I found, but I haven't been on parquet a lot recently, so we've got a level three right here. It's not what we're looking for, but I'll always take one of these little guys. But something that I forgot to mention towards the beginning of this video is I'm going to be checking out some lakes I normally don't go to uh, because I don't know all of the access to your zones, and I would like to find some more spots that they drink at. Uh, that way I can maybe make a guide on them because I know that's something that's been requested a lot recently and I know that you guys want to see an access to your guide so I figured that's what we'll do today. We'll kind of go to places I normally wouldn't just to see where they actually do drink. So this guy's at 219 meters. I think I'll get slightly closer. I want to get to about 150 and then we'll take the shot on him. All right, so we're at about 155. This should be close enough. So let's get zero to 150 and get lined up on this little teal. And that is a dead cinnamon teal. If we can find another one that's maybe a piebald or something, we might try to take that as well, but I don't think there's anything else that's any good around here. 
We'll probably just try to take one of the Axis Deer that's around this lake. Because there is some Axis Deer, and in fact that's a three right there. And a three right there. And another three right there. So there's a lot of threes. So I guess we'll take one of these out. Let's go ahead and get this guy if we can. I think he's out in the open. Okay, yeah, that should be a makeable shot. And it looks like that might have been a bit low. Oh well, it's an axis deer, so it should die pretty quickly regardless of where we hit it. They're not a very durable animal, so should have no problem bringing it down even with a non-vital shot. Okay, so these guys actually didn't spook, so we do have a chance to take out some other ones. I'm going to get a range on these guys though. So 309, I think that's an easily makeable shot. That explains why I screwed up the first one though. I honestly thought it was a little bit closer. And that guy's dead. I think we might have spine shot it. Very high possibility that we did, but here is that level 3 teal. Let's go ahead and claim this. 4.60 diamond. This is about what most of them score. I believe they don't go past 4.8. I think 4.8 is max score for them. Uh, just like the turkey. So, this is an average one. We'll have to see what its actual score is once we get in the lodge. But, not too bad. I'll take that any day. We definitely still need some duck fillers for our lodge, so... Definitely awesome to get a level 3 teal. Hopefully we can find ourselves a few rare teals too. Alright, so... Here is that little axis deer. Uh, we did get vitals, and it... Well, we did hit vertebrae, as I thought, but we also got lungs, so that's nice. That's definitely nice. Now, I'm not really too concerned about whether or not we get a big rack or small rack diamond axis deer. I kind of just want to get one before true racks, uh, just for you guys to see, but uh, some of you might already know this. A lot of the people that have been with the channel for... The past few months probably have already seen this, but I do have a Big Rack Piebald Axis Deer Diamond already, so I've already got what I want, but I'm kind of doing this for you guys since a lot of you have wanted to see some Axis Deer content. So I figured we'd do that. But if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a, um, a card up in the top right of the screen for you guys to check out if you want to see the Piebald Diamond Axis Deer. I also got a troll one at some point, I might link that too. But yeah, so I've already got pretty much all, all that I've ever wanted for Axis Deer. But hopefully we can find another diamond one. Alright, so we got Pumas all over this lake. I doubt there's going to be any Axis Deer close. I did hear one call though, so we are going to go around to the left over here and check out that area because I did hear a couple. So hopefully we actually have something decent in that herd. Alright, so there's our Axis Deer. We do have a 4 in this herd, and there is a Piebald in the back. Now, for those of you that don't know, Piebald aren't super rare. They're more of an uncommon, but it's still cool to see them, because they are beautiful. I would like it if they'd make them true rares, but... Either way, they're awesome looking, and it looks like that plus the 4 are the only good ones here, so... We'll take out this 4. This is a big 4. So, there is that. And, of course. Of course. Why would they stay out in the open? Why would they ever? Well, luckily I had the Axis Deer call with me, so... Maybe that'll get them moving around again. And it's looking like it does. Of course, that one hasn't moved yet, but... I did see a few moving around, and I saw one kind of coming down the hill. Uh, right there. I'm not sure what that one is, but we'll see it eventually. Okay, so that one's just a three, actually, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think what I'll do is try to get this guy to come out from behind the tree. Hopefully. Okay, he did come out. Try to get the piebald one, too. Yeah, there's no way I'll be able to hit that, unfortunately. As much as I want to try, I don't think I can hit that. Let's just see what else kind of runs out, because there was a few that we couldn't see very good that were kind of behind these trees, but looks like it was just does anyway, so we should be good. 
We got that big four down, and that's really the main thing we wanted to do. Would have been nice to get the piebald also, but he'll still be here. We can always get him at another time. Okay, so they had actually started coming back here. Uh, let's try to take out one more. Make sure the piebald's not in sight, and he's not, so we'll take one of these other ones. That is a vital hit. So we did get that down. That makes two downed axis deer. So here's that four that we took out. I'm curious to see what it's going to score because this is the same rack that is the small diamond one, but this guy is 332, so a little ways off of diamond. I don't know if fours can actually make diamond. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. I don't think they can, but these guys are great to get down for respawns because they are the max weight estimate with the max score estimate, so... This guy's going to be really good, and hopefully he will provide something good as a respawn. But let's go get the second one that we took down. It wasn't anything too special, only a level 3. But once again, still good for respawns, and hopefully we'll get something good next time we run through here. And here it is. Oh, wait a minute. It was actually the pie ball. <laughs> okay, I, I'm either blind or it didn't look pieballed when we shot. That's nice. I'm glad that we shot this one. I guess I reacted so fast that I didn't realize this was the piebald, but that's cool. I'll take that. Okay, we got more access to here, but there is a puma next to them, so we're not going to be able to get any of these. Don't think we're going to be able to get any of them, unfortunately, but there is some access to here, so that's good to know. Gives me more information for when I make a guide. Oh, we actually have some more over here, too. So, there's actually two spots that have access to your over at this lake. So, we'll try to take out one of those. I do want to make sure there's nothing else before I shoot, though. And it looks like there isn't. So, we should be good. Alright, we'll take that three right there. Maybe if we move a bit, we can actually hit this guy instead. He's in a closer spot, so kind of want to go for him. All right, yeah, I'd say this is a better angle. So that is 227 meters. Uh, we should be able to hit that. Let's see. Ooh, we hit the wrong one, but then I think we saved it. Yes, we did, we did save it, okay. I accidentally hit this little guy though, so we do need to take it out now. Alright, they're both down. So that... It went a little better than I thought it would after we accidentally shot the three. But we got both of them now because of that. Alright, so here's the first little guy that we took out. Uh, we did hit liver and stomach. So not a perfect shot, but it did get vitals, so that's really all we need. So, not too bad. This over here is the one that we accidentally shot, so very curious where we hit it. And there's a little doe that was checking him out. That's interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, we almost brain shot it at least, but not ideal at all. Second shot clipped a lung though, so perfect. Not too bad. Oh my gosh, um... Another three! We had two threes on our map at the same time. What is going on? I haven't seen a three teal in so long and now we have two. Nice. Once again, just a 4.6, but another filler for the small plaques. So always down for some level three cinnamon teal. Nice. I'll take that any day. That was unexpected. It was literally right in front of the tent, too. I don't think we even walked, like, two feet, and then I spotted it. That's crazy. Oh. My gosh. That might be one of the smallest red deer I've seen in quite some time. I unfortunately don't see any access deer on this side. I don't remember if they drink here or not, so I figured we'd check this out at least, and there's a red deer right there. Wait. I I could be wrong, but I think that's... Oh, yeah, that's definitely piebald. Oh, my gosh. What is this lake? What is going on at this lake? 
So I've been hunting for quite a while now, killing off these Axis deer, and wow, like everything good is happening at the same time. I barely found anything when it comes to Axis deer, as you guys have seen, because I've been showing a lot of small kills, and normally I try to only include the bigger stuff, but we haven't really found much stuff that was actually decent. The only good things we've found have been stuff that isn't Axis deer, like this guy right here. And we're actually going to take this shot. Nice. I don't know if he'll be in the main portion of our lodge because we already have a bigger one. But I do like this guy's rack, so who knows? Maybe we'll move something around. But that's crazy. I am actually pretty happy with that. But I'm kind of disappointed at the same time because I've been trying to get a melanistic red deer for so, so long. And this is like the fourth or fifth rare that we've got since the Truax Red Deer were released. And still no Melanistic. All of them have been piebald with one albino. What are you guys doing? Huh. Well, uh, we'll just ignore that. Alright, here we are. Let's check this guy out. I honestly don't even know what to say anymore. We've had some crazy luck for everything except Axis Deer. The only thing that I'm trying to hunt for today is what we haven't been getting. So that's kind of unfortunate, but like I was saying, you can't really complain when you're finding other stuff that's this nice. So let's get a picture of him even though he's got that bush poking through him. And let's check him out. 181.90. Just barely below gold. But we'll tax that guy and we'll see if maybe he can fit in our main lodge. Because this is a cool rack. I definitely like the way this one looks. Looks quite a bit different than the one we currently have, so it might look good next to it. But that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So, on that note, I think we'll head to the lodge. Alright, so I think we're going to put the red deer right here. And we'll move that lion somewhere else. Because I want this to be with the other red deer that's up here. I think... Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, this way we got pretty much a full piebald room when it comes to red deer. And I think we'll also put... Maybe the teal. Yeah, let's put the teal in here. So we'll put that there. And then we'll put this one right here. So this, one's, this one was 4.65. Uh, let's go grab the other one again. I want to see what it scored actually. This guy was 463, so not as big, but at least it wasn't minimum score, so not too bad. We'll put this guy facing like that, I guess. Nice, I like it. I do have a mallard from one of the live streams, so I'll go ahead and place that right there just to kind of fill up another spot. Ooh, I kind of like the way that looks. It kind of shows off the piebaldness. I like that. I like the way that looks, and I accidentally moved this guy. There we go. Nice. I like that. I'd say that's pretty good. Two diamond teal and a piebald red deer. Uh, honestly, I'm still disappointed that we didn't get any good axis deer, because I spent close to two hours hunting for them, and barely found anything towards about the end of the hunt, and that was the teal and the red deer, so... Definitely not the most eventful axis deer hunt, but we found pretty much everything else. And yeah, honestly, this lodge is getting really close to being full. We pretty much just have some small game plaques, so... What do you guys think? Should we continue searching for the smaller animals in this lodge? Or should we start a new lodge and kind of just continue to fill this as we go? Thinking that what we could do is maybe... We start a new lodge... All of the bigger stuff will go in there, but any of the small stuff we'll still put in this one to fill these plaques up. Uh, because I do want to get everything filled. But I do want to continue working on maybe another lodge so that we can actually put some of the bigger trophies in it. Because right now I'm kind of just saving back all the stuff that's not quite good enough to replace something that's on one of these mounts. So let me know what you guys think. I am very curious to see what you guys think about that, but... Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. That is going to be it for me today. 
but I do appreciate everybody's support recently. It's been absolutely insane, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, but before I go, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to get notifications when I post a video. And if you want to be 100% sure that those notifications reach you, be sure to hit that bell icon. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, and that'll be it for me. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.